Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the faux panorama eggs. This is a new craft that I just did last week. I uh, wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but very happy how it turned out. Here we go, little, got this color with the green and cream, and I got pink one here, and I have enough three. I can't just make one, I have to make two or three. And this one here, this one here has Dollarama uh, little embellishments inside for there. So we're gonna show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a mold, which I bought from Dollarama, super cheap, egg mold. You are going to need air dry clay by Coriola. Coriola. Um, this, uh, this is not a strong, it's not a tough, tough clay, but it did work for this project. I wasn't sure how it was gonna work out, but it worked out good. I'll give you a few little steps. Um, you're gonna need the uh, uh, caulking. You're gonna need the lightweight spackle or featherweight spackle, it's called, AKA crack filler for the frosting, like I showed you in previous videos. Okay, um, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your clay in this egg here and you're gonna kinda not put it too thin and not put it too thick. And you're gonna put it the whole way in this egg, the whole way around and press it down. Um, when, so you have to have, so this is what it's gonna look like. One part's gonna be like this cause you need to have the round, cut out the round circle here. And the other parts, so you need two parts. Um, so you just, after you put it all in there, you um, tape stuff. Uh, you have to take a little knife before it dries and cut out the, cir the circle and dig it out. So then you let that dry. It's gonna take. Uh, it's gonna take a day. I do it one day. I, I let it set for the day, and then and then the next day I I work with it. So uh, you're gonna notice when it's gonna. Sometimes it cracks a little bit, but don't be afraid of that. You also can use some glue. Uh, put a coat of glue in the inside of it and it helps keep it together and keeps it stronger. Uh, you're also going to need for this project, I got some Mod Podge, matte Mod Podge, and we got our acrylic paints, of course, right over here, all kinds of different colors that I mix. Oh, and you need your frosting tips. This is a Russian frosting tip for the roses. You don't need to put roses on these, but that's, that's just what I did, and this is uh, the one for the little uh, leaves. Okay, so once you have this dry, you paint the inside two coats and the outside two or three coats. So once you do that, once you put the glue, you put the paint, then I put the Mod Podge. I put a Mod Podge on the both on both sides, and that like it strengths it strengthens it, and because it's not overly a tough tough clay, so I find it made it stronger. So once you do that. Let that dry, then you need a glue gun. So you quickly spread on the glue. And it's not gonna match up perfect, just as long as some of it connects. There, hold it on, and there we go, we got our egg. So, as you see here, it's, there's cracks, but that's okay, because the frosting is gonna go all the way around. But I do, um, put caulking. I put a little bit of caulking and I fill, I fill in the cracks. It just attaches, it makes it stronger. Fills the cracks, makes it in case sometimes the, uh, you know, the frosting doesn't, might not cover completely little spots here and there. So you really need to fill in the cracks with the caulking. You let that dry. Uh, sometimes there's little pieces that stick out. You can break that off the little edges there if you want. But it's so pretty good. So once you have all that, you do it the whole way around. Let that dry. It doesn't take too long to dry. I had to decide what I was going to use for a base. So I decided to use this little uh, piece of foam. But you can use whatever you want, really. Uh, and so what I do, then I hot glue it on to the foam. Bottom here, and we're going to put it right in the middle, right in the middle here. We'll make sure this little baby is straight. There, and let it drew, and then I got, let it dry, and then I 
stick a little bit in the inside here. And then I go around the edge here. Try to see. Around the edge, make it stronger. And then after that's all done and dry, I, I paint the base. You're not going to see a whole lot of the base once you put the frosting, but sometimes you can see, you know, little cracks in between. So you want to make sure that that's painted. So we're going to let that dry. And like I say, you do the caulking the whole way around the egg. So we're going to set that aside here and we're going to jump to one that's got this done. Usually what I do, I put the freight frosting all the way around first and the little uh, roses and things. And then I let the whole thing dry. Uh, and then I decorate it. But for this video, I'm going to jump a little bit, steps. So this is dry, this is already dry. So I just wanna show you quickly how I decorate the inside. Uh, so you need, yes, you need your straw. This I actually bought, it's a nice pretty peachy pink color. I bought at Superstore just this year, really pretty. This one is a color I got last year, a really pretty green, I can't find it anywhere this year kind of disappointing but this is last year's green that I used but there's all kinds of greens out there you can buy so you put a little glue in there you can use any color you want of course I've got some straw here and we're just going to put it in there and put it all in there and you're going to play around with that for a while you can add a little more or take out a little, a little bit if there's too much just going to roughly show you how I do it. So you put it in there. Uh, what's great <clears throat> about this craft also, I have to mention is that you can, everything's local. You don't have to buy anything online. You don't have to, you know, get anything at Michael's. It's all local cheap stuff. Walmart, you buy the clay. Uh, Dollarama's the mold. Home hardware is your fake frosting. Here I have the Dollarama embellishments here that you can buy. Little, uh, little chickens, ch chicks. Um, also, I just wanted to mention these little roses. I pre-made these and then I let them dry because like I said, I'm not a good cake decorator. I couldn't just make the rose right onto this and the leaves and it would work the first time. That would not happen, trust me. So then I make the little leaves as well separate and let them dry. And so once you have all that, then you're going to pick which, whatever you want to put inside here. Inside these, I have the these little bunnies that I made out of Plaster Paris. You could probably make these um, out of that clay as well, the air dry uh, Corilla clay. And uh, so then you just hot glue. I'm not going to actually hot glue this one, but you hot glue it and you put it in there. And you got to play around a little bit. You really have to get it, try to get it in the right spot and things like that. So once you do that, decorate all the inside how you want to. Uh, I'll also mention I made these little tiny little panorama panorama eggs and um, that I put into no, not that one inside that one I thought that was so cute um, these are made out of plaster of Paris these little eggs but you could probably use that clay if you want to if you had a mold it would probably work uh, I find that that clay isn't good for large projects like you couldn't do a big bunny of that clay it would just fall apart but little little things you could you could use so where am I now so once you, oh, okay. So we're gonna attach this here. So what you're going to do, we've got our fake frosting here, our crack filler frosting with paint. And you're gonna go the whole way around, just like so. And you can decorate this any way you want, really. I'm just showing you how I do it. So we're gonna go whoo, all the way around. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but you go all the way around. Uh, then I'll show you how I attach the little rose here. So I attach it with the freak frosting and I just spread it on the bottom and I kinda just attach it on like so, just like that. And then, oh, I don't want to see that frosting there. There. And then, with the little 
leaves here. I'm going to frost the tip here and then we're going to stick it on there like so and this one. Oh, it would be a disaster if I tried to do this. Uh, do these uh, roses and things oh, from scratch. <laughs> it takes a while to get it just right. Those roses, I could do a, a hundred. I'm going to get half of them right. But a professional cake decorator could do it. So there, we got that all attached here with the uh, cake frosting. So once you do all that, you let it dry, and then I do the whole base here. Then I go around the whole base, several different layers, as you can see. And that is how you make the panorama, panorama egg. And I think these have turned out so good. I am so happy how these turned out. See here. I have pictures on my Facebook page as well, my public page, the pink tree. You can follow that. I always post pictures, how I decorate my my home with my little crafts and what is upcoming and upcoming videos, what I'm going to be making. Uh, oh, also, this one is the one with the Dollarama embellishments inside right here. This was the first one I made. Like I said, I wasn't sure how these were going to turn out, so I was really, really happy. Uh, really happy. I didn't know if they're going to fall apart or or what, but uh, I found that the glue made it tougher. Don't be afraid. Like I said, don't be afraid about the little cracks that you're going to see. There are going to be cr little cracks, but just put the glue. It should hold it together. And I think that I have covered everything, everything you need to know. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.